Langa Sumati Palace faction arrived with the Sports Development Department today to file an objection with the Director General of Sports regarding the Sri Lanka cricket elections set to take place next Tuesday. Mohan De Silva of the Tilanga Sumatipala faction said that they do not agree with the decision taken to change the location of the election which was earlier planned to be held at SRC. He added that the non-disclosure of the list of voters from sports associations and allowing only persons who have the nod from the executive committee to attend general meetings were pointed out in the objections. However, Tilanga Sumatipala's faction did not get the opportunity today to file the objection to the Director General of Sports as she was not in office. When sports first inquired, the Director General of Sports said that the SLC elections will go ahead as planned no matter what the objections are. Meanwhile, President of SLC Upali Dharmadasa said that he does not know anything about the objection. He added that the aim of having officials from the Elections Commissioner's Office conduct the elections is to maintain transparency. Having the Election Commissioner's Office conduct the SLC elections is a joke. There will not be much of a challenge when the President and the Secretary are elected uncontested. This shows that SLC does not trust the Ministry of Sports. The Ministry of Sports and the Election Commissioner's Office are made up of government officials. How can SLC trust the officials of the Election Commissioner's Office? If officials of SLC cannot even conduct an election, how will they improve the sport of cricket?